Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Lola. If it's your first time here, you are absolutely, absolutely welcome. So the Spirit of God lives in my heart to talk about today because this is something that I experienced yesterday and it's more like God is exposing me to learn lessons and see situations for what they really are and exposing me to exactly what it is that he wants me to see. So it is time for you to forgive yourself and move on with your life. It is time for you to forgive yourself and let go. Look, it is so easy for us to forgive others when others make mistakes. It is so easy for us to forgive our friends when they hurt us. It is so easy for us to forgive our parents when they've done us wrong or they've made us get into a situation where we have to do things according to what they want for their own perspective or what they want for us. But it is so difficult for us to forgive ourselves. The hardest thing for you to do is to forgive your own self. Have you ever been in a situation where you were in a curse out with a person, like you were in a altercation with someone and then it's almost like at that point you forget all the things that there is in your in the world to say. It's like you go bring there like all the insults that there is in the world for you to like clap back at somebody, all the clap backs that there is in the world, you literally forget all of it until way after the situation when you're analyzing the situation, what really happened, the part you had to play, the wrong the person did you, and then you start like easily the clap backs start coming to your head and you're asking yourself like, why did I not respond with this? Why did this not come to my head at that point? Why is it that I felt brain dead at that point? Why is it that it is now after the whole situation I am seeing the situation for what it is and I'm I'm now remembering things that I could have possibly said at that instance. Have you ever been in that position before? Let me know if you've been in the in that position in the comment section because I've definitely been in that position where I'm in an altercation with somebody and it's almost like I'm brain dead. I can't think of any insults to really tell the person at that point because everything is just coming at me like you know sometimes situations happen and then you get into the space where you are literally observing everything that happened you're literally calling you're literally recalling everything that happened and then you're thinking of the best possible way you could have possible you could have possibly reacted to the situation and then you start beating yourself up for it and then you start pinching yourself you start getting into the situation where you're obsessed with yourself like why didn't i do it this way instead of the way i reacted why did I not respond this way instead of the way I reacted? But I want you to know that there are no mistakes in this life. If you reacted or if you responded to a situation a certain way, it is because that is exactly how you were supposed to respond at that point. And the reason for you, the reason that you recall the whole situation and you found a better way in which you could have responded to it is simply because God is opening your eyes to see the lessons and to see how you can do better in a future situation. Because trust me, everything that is happening right now, every situation you encounter right now, you are going to encounter in a greater form. You are going to encounter in a more larger scale as you grow, as you evolve in life. So you... The fact that you can be aware enough to see that, okay, I could have actually responded this way simply means that you are making so much progress already in life because self-awareness is something that a lot of people are asleep. Let me let you know that today. A lot of people are asleep. A lot of people are not aware of the greatness that are in them. A lot of people are not aware of their actions. A lot of people are not aware of consequences and you have to understand that in this life there are no mistakes there are only actions and consequences so whatever action you take whatever words you say whatever way you respond to a situation there's only a possible consequence and reaction to that action and there are no mistakes there are only actions and consequences or you can say actions and lessons but understand that you cannot make a mistake there is no right or wrong so how can you get into this space that you are recalling how much, instead of you being in that situation where you are 
beating yourself up because you are looking at the ways in which you could have responded no that is growth you are in the growth process so appreciate yourself that's the time you need to love yourself more that's the time you need to forgive yourself for that which for the way in which you reacted previously and understand that you are growing and you are aware enough so that means in future situations you are able to handle those situations better you are able to handle those situations with more clarity how willing are you to love yourself in those situations how willing are you able to pick up yourself and forgive yourself for the way you reacted to a situation how willing are you to forgive yourself for the specific action you took that literally you are not proud of how willing are you to forgive yourself it is easy for you to forgive other people but how easy is it for you to forgive yourself the only reason you will not forgive yourself is because you do not love yourself so for you to counter and fill up that gap in which you're not able to forgive yourself you need to start loving upon yourself you need to start appreciating yourself and the only way you can love and appreciate yourself is when you let go of the things that do not serve you you let go of the things that are not for you you let go of the things that are draining your energy you let go of the things that are giving you headache you let go of the things that are causing you setback you let go of the things that are not adding positivity to your life that is how much you show that you love yourself that's how much you show that you respect yourself. But if you don't love yourself, there's no way you will forgive yourself when you see that you've messed up. But this is the time for you to let go. Forgive yourself and let go because you are the only one holding yourself back. There is nobody in this life. Even if another, even if you wronged another person and the person does not forgive you, believe you me, that unforgiveness of another person cannot hold you back. The only thing that can ever hold you back is your own unforgiveness of your own self. And you have to understand that in whatever quote unquote mistake you've made, in whatever sin you've committed, God has already forgiven you. But the thing is, most times our guilt from the whole situation and you are literally the one holding yourself. Your guilt is that one thing that is holding you back from actually freeing yourself but you have to free yourself because god already loves you even in sin god loved you that's exactly why he sent his son to come and die for you if he did not love you he would not send jesus christ but he loved you so dearly even when you were in sin even when you were making mistakes even when you're on the wrong path even when you deviated away from his purpose and plans for your life he still loved you and he still wants you back that is exactly why he used love to cover it all by sending his son but how much do you love yourself god already loves you how much are you willing to accept that okay god loves me god forgives me even as much as i've committed the sin God, his grace, his grace overruns, it runs over, he forgives me already. But have I forgiven myself? Have you forgiven yourself? And until you forgive yourself, you will keep being stuck in a bondage where it is you just holding yourself down. It is a chain that you have to break. No matter how much you've made mistakes in the past, no matter how much mistakes you've made today, no matter the mistakes, no matter the gravity of the mistakes you're going to make in the future, you have to forgive yourself because it is you against you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really do hope this message impacts somebody and I really do hope it resonates because this is one thing that spirit has laid in my mind to talk about today yesterday something happened a situation happened and i was reminiscing on the whole thing and it was almost like i was beating myself up and i was like i was beating myself up and i was telling myself how much i could have done better how i could have reacted better and how much certain things i said would impact certain relationships or certain future expectations this 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 da, 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 da. but i want you to know that the person you were yesterday is a different person from who you are today because the fact that you can be self-aware enough to catch yourself in that moment and see yourself as somebody who is willing to grow do better and expand you are a changed person you are constantly transforming you can never ever remain the same and you must get out of that bondage that wants to keep you stuck into the identity of who you were yesterday you have to get yourself out of that bondage that wants to keep you stuck into the idea of the person that you were yesterday you are an evolving person this life is a very short don't keep yourself stuck in the bondage of your past forgive yourself and move on with your life.
god bless you so much thank you for being with me today make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up leave me your comments in the comment section and i will definitely 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 catch you guys in subsequent videos